Hi everyone, welcome back to the new video of Current Affairs YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important Current Affairs questions and answers of the day, 24th May 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, you have two questions at the end of this video. So watch the video till the end and please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that and you can download the PDF file of this section of Telegram group and you can also join our Telegram group for more study materials. Okay, we'll give the link in the description given below. You can check that and download the PDF. Okay, let's start the section. First question. Which organization has developed DIPCO-1, a COVID-19 antibody detection kit? Okay, the answer for the question is option C, DRDO. Okay, the DRDO has developed the DIPCO-1, a COVID-19 antibody de detection kit. Okay, let's see about this. India's Defense Research and Development Organization, that is DRDO, has developed a COVID-19 antibody detection kit. Okay, the DIPCO-1 kit can detect both spike as well as nucleocapsid proteins of coronavirus with a high sensitivity sensitivity of 97 percent okay and it has been approved by the indian council of medical research that is icmo and has been developed by the defense institute of physiology and allied sciences lab of drdo in association with delhi's wanka diagnostic private limited okay the dipco one is intended for qualitative detection of igg antibodies in human cell or plasma targeting SARS-CoV-2 related antigens, okay, and it offers a significantly faster turnaround time of just 75 minutes to conduct the test without any close reactivity with other diseases, and the kit has a shelf life of 18 months. Okay, in this first question, you have to note on that the DRDO has developed a COVID-19 antibody detection kit called DIPCO-1. And if you want to know about the Defense Research and Development Organization, that is DRDO, we have already done a video about DRDO in our YouTube channel. Okay, we'll mention that video here and also give the link in the description given below. You can check that and watch the video for know about DRDO. Okay, let's see next question. Second question. Which state has launched the Mission Oxygen Self Reliance Scheme to meet the state's oxygen needs? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, Maharashtra. Okay, let's see about the Mission Oxygen Self-Reliance Scheme. The Maharashtra government has launched a Mission Oxygen Self-Reliance Scheme to meet the state's oxygen needs. Okay, the special incentives will be given to oxygen producing industries under this scheme. And the demand for liquid medical oxygen has increased in Maharashtra recently while treating COVID-19 patients. And at present, the state's oxygen generation capacity is 1,300 MD per day. In order to meet the increasing demand, the state government has declared few incentives to meet the target of producing 3,000 MP of oxygen per day. And the government will also give a refund on gross SGST, stamp duty, electricity duty and unit subsidy of power costs for 5 years and interest, interest subsidy for MSME units with a fixed capital investment of up to 50 crore rupees. Okay, in this question you have to note that the Maharashtra state government has launched Mission Oxygen self lane Scheme to meet the state's oxygen needs. Okay, that's the answer for the question. Okay, let's see some points about Maharashtra. Okay, the capital of Maharashtra is Mumbai and the governor of Maharashtra is Fakat Singh Koshyari and the current chief minister of Maharashtra is Uddhav Thakri. And we can see here the location of Maharashtra state here. Okay, that's the answer for the question. Okay, before watching this full video, if you like this video, Please click on the like button. Okay, this video like came is only 100. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our son current office and also in the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, let's see the next question. When is the international day to end obstet obstetric fistula observed by the United Nations? Okay, the answer for the question is option B 23rd May. Okay, let's see about this day. The United Nations observes the International Day to End Obstetric of Fistula on 23rd May every year. Okay, the day is being observed to significantly raise awareness and intensify actions towards ending obstetric fistula as well as urging post-surgery follow-up and tracking of fistula patients. Okay, obstetric fistula is one of the most serious and tragic injuries that can occur during childbirth. Okay, the theme for 2021. International Day to End Obstetric 
fist lies women's rights are human rights and fist law no okay in this question you have to note on about the international day to end obstetric fist law okay it is observed alone 23rd may and the theme for 2021 is women's rights are human rights and fist law now okay that's answer for the question i think it's understood if you have any doubts led to any question and its answer please comment down in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay let's see next question who has been appointed as the new president of international hockey federation for three years till 2024 okay the answer for the question is option d narendra batra okay narendra batra has been appointed as a new president of international hockey federation okay let's see about this narendra batra of india was re-elected as the international federation president for the second time during the world bodies versus 47 congress okay the batra is the is also the president of the indian olympic association and an international olympic committee member okay batra will hold the office until 2024 as the fas that is international hockey federation has reduced the time from four to three years due to deferment of the congress last year okay batra became the first non-european president of the FAS in 2016 and he remains the only Asian to grab the top post in the world body's 92 year old history. Okay, in this question you have to note that Narendra Batra of India was re-elected as the president of International Hockey Federation. Okay, that's the answer for the question. Okay, let's see about the International Hockey Federation. The International Hockey Federation is the international governing body of field hockey and indoor hockey field hockey okay its headquarters are air in laos in in switzerland and the president is dr narinda dhruv batra and the international hockey federation was founded on 7 january 1924 okay that's about fh okay i think it's understood okay let's see next question which organization launched an audio visual guide app on the occasion of international museum day okay the answer for the question is option c national gallery of modern art okay let's see about this on the occasion of international museum day the national gallery of modern art new delhi has launched its first ever audio visual guide okay the app is an audio visual guide for exploring the modern art treasures on display across galleries of the museum and the app is available on both the google play store and the apple app store the NGMA app and tools are free for all users. Okay, let's see about the National Gallery of Modern Art that is NGMA. The National Gallery of Modern Art is the premier art gallery under the Ministry of Culture Government of India. The main museum at Jaipur House in New Delhi was established on 29th March 1954 by the Government of India with subsequent branches at Mumbai and Bengaluru. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. When was that? Kalakshetra Foundation established. Okay, the answer for the question is option A, 1934. Okay, let's see about Kalakshetra Foundation and the recent news about Kalakshetra Foundation. Okay, the central government nominated tall eminent artists and musicians as members of the governing body board of the Kalakshetra Foundation. Okay, let's see about the Kalakshetra Foundation. It is an arts and culture academy dedicated to the preservation of traditional values in Indian arts and crafts, especially in the field of Bharatanatyam dance and Gandharva Veda music. And it is based in Chennai and was founded in 1936 by Rukmini Devi Arundale and her husband George Arundale. Okay, in 1994, an act of Parliament of India recognized the Kalakshetra Foundation as an institute of Indian, sorry, institute of national importance. Okay, in this question, you have to note about the Kalakshetra Foundation. Okay, it is based in Chennai and was founded in the year 1936 by Rukmini Devi Arundale and her husband George Arundale. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. What is the profession of Ram Lakshman who has passed to be recently? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, music director. Okay, let's see about Ram Lakshman. Veteran music director Ram Lakshman, best known for his work on Dry Street Productions, blockbuster movies, Main Pair Kia, Hum Aapke Hain, Hain Kod, and Hum Saath Saath Hain died due to a cardiac arrest. He was 78. The composer whose real name was Vijay Patel. Okay. Which known by cinema official Nados as Lakshman of new composers Ram Lakshman, 
started his journey in films with marathi actor comedy dada Ko- Conquest, 1975 film Pando Havaldar. Okay, in this question, you have to know that the veteran music director Ram Lakshman has passed away recently. Okay, let's see next question. Recently, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta has appointed Martha Kume as the country's first woman chief minister. Sorry, chief justice. Okay, here's the question for you. Which is the capital of Kenya? Okay, the answer for the question is option A, Nairobi. Okay, let's see about this news and also about Kenya. The Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta has appointed Court of Appeal Judge Maratha Kumi as a East African country's first woman Chief Justice and Head of the Judiciary. Okay, she is the first woman to head any of the three ba- branches of the government. Okay, that's the news about Kenya. That is Kenyan President Uhuru Kenya- Kenyatta has appointed Martha Kumi as the country's first woman Chief Justice. Okay, let's see about Kenya. Kenya is a country in East Africa with coastlines on the Indian Ocean. Okay, the capital of Kenya is Nairobi. Currency of Kenya is Kenyan Shilling and the president of Kenya is Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay, we can see here the location of Kenya and its capital Nairobi here. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see that. Answer for the questions of last kind of his question answer video of 23rd May 2021. Okay, let's see the answer for the first question. What is the theme of the International Day for? Biological Diversity 2021. Okay, the answer for the question is option A. We are part of the solution. Okay, let's see about the 2021 International Day for Biological Diversity. Okay, the International Day for Biological Diversity is celebrated on May 22nd every year. This day is acknowledged for the promotion and awareness of biodiversity matters and was declared by the United Nations. Okay, the International Day for Biological Diversity is also known as the World Biodiversity Day. And the theme for 2021 International Day for Biological Diversity is we are part of the solution. Okay, in this first question, you have to not know about the International Day for Biological Diversity. It is observed annually on May 22nd. And the theme for 2021 is we are part of the solution. Okay, that's the answer for the first question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see the answer for the second question. What is the headquarters of Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, that is CBIC, located. Okay, the answer for the question is option C, New Delhi. Okay, let's see about the Center Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. The Center Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs is the nodal national agency responsible for administering customs, GST, central excise, excise, service tax and narcotics in India. It was founded on 1st January 1964 and is headquartered at New Delhi. Okay, in this question, you have to not about the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, that is CBIC. Okay, it was founded in the year 1964 and is headquartered at New Delhi. Okay, that's the answer for the second question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see today's questions for you. Okay, daily we are giving two questions that you can answer and please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay let's see the first question for you who has launched national mobile monitoring software nmms app and area officer monitoring app okay the options for you option a ph goyal option b narendra modi option c prakash javedkar and the option d narendra singh tomar okay we'll repeat the first question for one more time who has launched national mobile monitoring software nmms app and area officer monitoring app Okay, please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel, current affairs. Okay, let's see the second question for you. Recently, Pinarayi Vijayan was shown in as the chief minister of which of the following state? Okay, the options for you option A, Kerala, option B, Azam, option C, Karnataka, and the option D, Tamil Nadu. Okay, I will repeat the second question for one more time. Recently, Pinarayi Vijayan was shown in as the chief minister of which state? Okay, please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, in this video, we have discussed about the important current of his questions and answers of the day, 24th May 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, I think it's understood about the section. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. And you can download the PDF file of this section of our Telegram group and can also 
join our telegram channel for more study materials okay we'll give the link in the description again below you can check that and download the pdf and if you're not a subscriber of this channel please don't forget to like share subscribe our son current affairs and also number the bell icon for getting new notifi new notifications in our youtube channel okay thank you for watching this video keep supporting us see you tomorrow with a new video on current affairs and other study topics thank you bye bye